Hi, I'm Telly Styles and welcome back to my YouTube channel. As you can already see from the title, we are going to be doing bentonite clay. I don't really have much to say though, but I'm super excited today. And if you can tell from my accent, I'm very excited. Pardon my voice though, cause I'm not well at the moment, but then I had to film this video for you guys so let's go straight into the video so our first ingredient is going to be bentonite clay which i got from dili naturals and it's affordable considering its size also we are going to be using apple cider vinegar that i got from my local drug store and coconut oil for its moisturizing properties and also prevents breakage and split ends we are going to be using avocado oil as well for its deeply moisturizing properties it also contains vitamin e and also repairs damages done by sun rays and ideal for fine hair not forgetting almond oil for its hair growth properties by repairing hair follicles and keeping them healthy and free from inflammation and i'll be using sachet water because that is what i had available and a plastic bowl for mixing all our ingredients and not forgetting my wicks and also a spoon for measuring and fetching of the ingredients Before the preparation, shout out to AJ Tams because she gifted me with this bowl and wicks that I'll be using for this tutorial. Check her out on Instagram at AJ Tams because she sells tools and materials for natural hair and also Ayurvedic powders and oils for hair. So we are going to be using 7 teaspoons of bentonite clay that I got from Dilly Naturals. Secondly, we are going to be using apple cider vinegar. So this vinegar usually has some residue beneath So you need to shake it well before fetching of which I'll be fetching three teaspoons of apple cider vinegar Because of the quantity of bentonite clay that I fetched Also, we are going to be using avocado oil that I got from Dilly Naturals and for the avocado oil I'm going to be using just half of a teaspoon For the coconut oil, I'm going to be using one teaspoon of coconut oil because coconut oil is less expensive than the other essential oils that I'm using so I could use a little more amount of it as I need. And as you can see, this almond oil is not labeled because I got it long ago from AJ Tams on Instagram. So check her out on Instagram and get your essential oils as well. So this is basically everything that we are going to be using today and I'll be using my wicks to wix this up a little before pouring my water on it to get me that good consistency. So I'm going to be pouring my water on it. Mixing this was a little difficult so I had to do that off camera because the bentonite clay was so so fine and i think that is good because it will make rinsing out much easier rather than having lumps of like clay in your hair and as you can see the consistency i like it to be creamy i don't like my consistency too thick or too light so that is basically it Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you like my content and want to join my family. Also, give this video a thumbs up. So now it's time for application. Note that bentonite clay can be a bit messy, so you need to wear a dress that you don't wear anymore also my eye is going to be on the other side because my mirror is at that side bentonite clay is a detoxifier and clarifier that draws out impurities whilst providing microbe and flake reduction prior to this video i detangled my hair before applying the bentonite clay max to my hair 
because i'm not a type who is like able to touch my hair without trying to detangle it so me touching my hair in applying the bentonite clay would make me want to detangle my hair and you can't really detangle your hair with bentonite clay because it doesn't have these slip properties aside from the little oils that you'll be mixing with it and also bentonite clay weighs the hair down so you see that your curls are well defined honestly i really love this i like i just wish this could be like a wash and go or something but <laughs> you can't carry clean your hair out so bentonite clay weighs the hair down that helps define the curls as well i'm going to be doing the rest off camera and i'll be back I'm back and I'm all done. I did not start filming this video earlier, so before I finished, it was already dark. Pardon my bad lightning. So as you can see, the bentonite clay actually weighed my hair down, making my curls feel super defined. And I love this. And I'll rinse this out of my hair when it dries out. Just enjoy the beauty. <laughs> okay, so that is it for today and you can see how messy this was like it actually messed up my whole dress even my ties and all that so try to wear a dress that you don't usually wear whenever applying bentonite clay don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up thank you for watching this video until next time the love is real